Perfect. So as I sort of mentioned, you know, if these conversations um, you know, are happening in dark web forums, they're happening on Telegram channels, one of the challenges is just, just being able to identify who it is is talking about you and where they're talking about you. You know, and this can be enabled much more effectively um, through certain tool sets. Obviously, we this is an example that we've got here within um, Cerberus, one of our investigative tool sets, generally used by cybersecurity researchers. But as you can see here, we've got a conversation or a thread in a dark web forum that we can start identifying information as to what these individuals are talking about. So we've got in this example, we've got the thread title, so we can see that somebody is, is, is stating this information is relating to RDP 521KK US admin. What does this mean? We're looking at potential RDP access, which is what they claim to be have, always given indications to the level of access they have or the, or the type of access or threat vector that they have. A given indication is to the, the sort of revenue and turnover of these organizations. So the Ks being relevant to sort of pre zeros. So in this case, we're looking at sort of 521 um, million US dollars and then level of privilege that they're claiming this, um, that they've got access to. So administrative level privilege. And then when we look into the thread, we can start seeing information around the individual. So the, the vendor who's selling this information, we can see um, obviously they've got the, the context within their description. They start bid pricing. So often these times we'll see um, reference to start, step and blitz. And essentially this is meaning the start price of this auction the incremental step price for everybody that is looking to bid, and then the blitz price. So if somebody wants to come in and buy it now, they can simply blitz and take this information. And there are a number of things that we can start, a number of ways we can start leveraging this information. So we could look into this individual, so motory in this case, and start understanding who they are, where else they operate, who else they potentially talk to and sold data to and start understanding how much of a threat they might be to us as an organization or to our industry. And we can start monitoring for their activity. So we're alerted to any new information they might sell in the future that's specifically relevant to us. And when we start looking at things like bid price, we can start to get an estimation on the, the value that they're associating with this, um, with this access. Um, when we start talking about, if we consider the capability piece again, the initial access brokers generally find states that don't have the capability to conduct the attacks themselves. And they just essentially present this opportunity to the highest bidder in this scenario. So they can start selling this to you know, ransomware groups or potential APT groups, if they were to use an alias on the dark web, or anybody who's looking to buy this information to potentially compromise the, um, the organization behind it. And then in this case, generally we'd see a thread so a conversation of people bidding on it and who the ultimate buyer is if we see the ultimate uh, whoever blitzed this or, or won the auction we can again look into their profiles we can start understanding who they are and what sort of threat they may pose to us equally in this scenario that we've got here we see that it's just been closed by the moderator with no bids which suggests that it's likely been bought as a, as a full price by a private buyer Again, this is an indicator that this has been sold and that threat does exist out there. So again, it's something that we want to be conscious of so we can start looking for and monitoring for this activity. And again, they're not quite as open as saying, you know, we've got access, administrator access to shell.com. They try and be relatively vague about it. But indicators in here can start giving us an, an understanding of the geographical location as to where this um, organization is the associated revenue for this organization and the type of industry which this organization lies in. And that information can be used by security teams to start refining what it is we're looking for. And if, you know, if we were an energy producing company based in the US with a turnover of around about this much, I think from a security perspective, I'd be quite concerned about this. Again, it helps us to put more focus on our security teams to start looking for other potential threat vectors, other potential um, indicators of something maybe looking towards our network, you know, some sort of anomalous activity that we hadn't seen before 
that could be that starting piece during those reconnaissance phases of a potential attack um, on the horizon.